My name is Ula Yurkunas. I am Associate Professor at Department of Ophthalmology in Mass Pioneer. A lot of people have corneal blindness from loss of limbal epithelial cells. Uh, cornea is constantly renewed by corneal epithelial cells, just like skin cells. And when there's loss of the stem cells of a cornea, uh, the cornea becomes opaque uh, and people lose vision. We did not really have a very good way of replacing damaged corneal stem cells. Usually, we try to take stem cells from the other eye, but we have to use a lot of them to be able to repair a damaged cornea. With this new technology, or CALIC, we're able to take a very small amount of stem cells from the healthy eye, make more of them in the laboratory, and then replace this newly regenerated stem cells onto the damaged eye. The process of developing a calic is for, starts by taking a small biopsy from healthy cornea uh, of a healthy eye, taking those stem cells, limbal stem cells, into the laboratory and expanding them or growing them to a sheet of cells that are ready to be replaced on the damaged cornea of the other eye. I'm uh, Reza Dana, professor and director of cornea at Mass Eye and Ear. I think that an approach that will enable us to just harvest a few cells, grow them in a laboratory, and then resurface the eye in preparation for either a transplantation or even no transplant. We can potentially bypass the need for a transplant in many of these uh, calic patients if we're able to reverse the corneal haze as a result of stem cell insufficiency. That'll be a great contribution to ophthalmology. My name is Jia Yin, I'm DPhD. I'm a clinician scientist and cornea specialist here at Massachusetts Eye and Ear. So the study really is to look at um, if we're able to safely um, secure limbal stem cells from a healthy eye in a patient whose other eye has been damaged by either wearing contact lenses or chemical injury, that we can use a uh, ex vivo cultivation system to expand the stem cells and safely transplant those stem cells back to the affected eye and restore vision for the patient as well as reduce their discomfort. So this is the first trial in the United States to use cultivated stem cells from a patient's own body to replace the damaged cornea. The cultivated stem cell technology has not been yet used in the United States. It has been in other countries, but not here. And what our research is very unique in a sense that we developed this technology from bench to bedside here at Mass Pioneer and Harvard Medical School with our collaborative efforts. We did not use industry to help us with a, any phase of a study. We started by collaborating with Children's Hospital and then moved to working with a GMP lab in Dana-Farber, which is manufacturing human-ready products. That whole process of, of starting with the, taking the biopsy, growing out the limbal stem cells, expanding them, putting them on the membrane and then expanding them on the membrane, that takes about three weeks. It's a very detailed process. There are a lot of uh, checks of the cells at various times as they're growing. Uh, the media needs to be changed and replaced with fresh media to keep them growing. And then at the end, once the product is finished, then we package that up and then uh, take it over to the operating room. All of that requires a very specialized laboratory that has the people that are trained and have the skills uh, to do this. We are very happy to start the clinical trial on a calic in humans and we were able to enroll first three patients and to complete the calic study and we have found that the calic is safe and feasible in the first three patients. The early results have been really fantastic. Uh, the patients have gotten better. We have not noted any uh, significant uh, problems from the procedure. Uh, so the results really have been very compelling and very positive thus far. My name is Lynette Johns and I am a research associate in the Department of Ophthalmology. These patients that have suffered from an injury in their eye uh, typically are really concerned about the healthy, the, the status of their healthy eye and they're sometimes have given up hope on the eye that was injured and this is a unique opportunity that we could help that injured eye and so even if a patient's a little nervous about 
having any procedure done, I welcome them to learn more about the study, contact me, um, contact the project manager of the, the study, and we can go through and explain the study in, in more detail to them so that they're not so nervous. Because the first step is just an eye exam, and that's all they need, and we can determine if they're eligible and if they want to participate. Once we uh, learn more about the efficacy of the treatment, we hope to standardize it to such a degree that a lot of centers can offer to their patients. Right now, this is a very boutique type of treatment that we're producing here at Mass Ioneer and Harvard, but it would be great to streamline it and to make it accessible for the whole country.